Yet another New Jersey high school football injury. This time it happened in Monmouth County. News 12 New Jersey's Tony Caputo is outside Keyport High School where concern continues for Logan Blanks. Tony. Now recovery, Carissa, is looking positive. That according to a release and it was posted on Twitter by Keyport High School concerning senior linebacker Logan Blanks. He was injured over the weekend in a game against Lakewood. He was rushed to Jersey Shore Medical Center. In the release, they stated that the uh, athletic trainer on hand for Keyport, as well as some Lakewood trainers as well, they acted quickly, which was certainly needed to be done, and it was good that they did that. Got him to the hospital. There were a couple of long surgeries that took place, but all indications, according to their release uh, by Keyport High School, is that he's on the road to recovery. Has some feeling in his extremities as well. That is all very good news, but certainly concerning when you see a high school football player injured like Logan Blanks was over the weekend. There's a GoFundMe page. More on that in a moment. We've been talking about high school football player injuries much too often so far this football season, including St. John Vianney, a player that we've been telling you about, Aaron Van Trees. Again, suffered serious spinal cord injury uh, during a game against Manasquan on September 23rd. He's been receiving get well wishes from various people, including NFL players. Two days earlier, the tragic news of Xavier McLean, 16 year old sophomore at Linden High, he died at two weeks after suffering a serious injury during a September 9th game against Woodbridge High School. Just tragic. Still waiting on details about McLean's deadly injury. Back here at Keyport, the Football Alumni Association set up the GoFundMe page to help the family deal with medical expenses. Obviously, you can find that on GoFundMe, a $10,000 goal that's listed on there. They have over $7,000 already. We're live in Keyport. Tony Caputo, News 12, New Jersey.